SpaceX is the most innovative private space company on planet Earth and finally launching the Starship to orbit in April 2022. SpaceX provides its customers with transport from Earth into orbit and currently operates the Falcon and Falcon Heavy, the most advanced rockets on planet Earth. Elon Musk has his eyes set on something bigger, being an interplanetary spacefaring civilization with the goal of establishing a human colony on Mars. He envisions up to 1 million people being transported from Earth to the Mars base, but he has a huge obstacle ahead. His current rockets are not big enough to carry people and the equipment they need in order to survive on the Red Planet, coupled with the fact that space is very big and Mars is very far away. So Elon has now given up on his dream. Of course not. He has been hard at work building the Starship, the largest and most advanced rocket in human history to date. The entire space community have been watching and waiting patiently for the FAA to approve its first orbital flight, and it seems we have some huge updates, with the hope the FAA will give SpaceX the green light soon. The Starship is a two-stage rocket, with the lower stage, the Super Heavy Booster providing the launch thrust and the upper stage, the Starship traveling beyond orbit with its payload to its eventual destination, on Mars. The Super Heavy provides the initial thrust the rockets need to leave Earth and reach orbit. It then disconnects and returns to Earth for a precise landing. The Starship then lights up its Raptor engines to continue its journey into deep space. The Starship needs to be really powerful to achieve Musk's goals. The rocket produces a propellant capacity of a mass of 3,300 metric tons and a thrust capability of 72 meganewtons. The Starship is enormous and capable of carrying up to 100 tons of payload and can fit almost any shape within its cargo due to its wide body shape. To put things into perspective, the Falcon 9 can carry only 16 tons of payload into low Earth orbit, which seems like nothing in comparison with the Starship's 100-ton payload capacity. So let's get straight into the action. Today we will explain what has happened at Starbase in Boca Chica and also at the new NASA SpaceX launch site in Cape Canaveral. Ship 24's nose cone and nose cone barrel section were stacked and then spent time in the welding facility as one of the first nose cones to be welded, not by SpaceX staff, but in fact by a special SpaceX welding robot. At a TED talk in April 2022, Elon said, At this point, I think I know more about manufacturing than anyone currently alive on Earth. Referring to the hard lessons he learned at Tesla's first mass market production facility in Fremont, California. We should expect to see much more automated processes introduced to allow for more precise, uniform, and efficient assembly moving forward. The SpaceX crane detached from Booster 7, and the rocket was then left standing on the launch pad. A road closure shortly followed, with some testing activity. It was confirmed that the ship was seen venting after what seemed like a nitrogen pressure test. It is reported that this could be the first time the booster nitrogen cryo equipment has been used, so extra safety measures seem to be in place, with work slowing down around the facility. The next day we saw another road closure, and it was confirmed that Booster 7 underwent a cryogenic liquid nitrogen test. A buildup of frost could be seen forming on the rocket's outer body, caused by the extremely cold fuel within the body of the liquid oxygen and methane tanks. It has been reported that this could be one of the first structural tests of the 13 engines inside the Starship. This stress test is a step forward for Starship that does not require any FAA approvals, which seems to be slowing most other activities down. Elon Musk just revealed a SpaceX robot rocket recovery ship named A Shortfall of Gravitas, codenamed ASOG. This is an unmanned drone ship capable of propelling itself to and from recovery zones and securing landed boosters without hands-on human intervention. This drone ship looks like a tanker, covered in thick black steel and is built to withstand extreme rocket fire blasts and rough seas. Making sure that Falcon launchers land precisely and are transported back to the seaport, ready to be processed for their next mission. The Starship Tower at Roberts Road, Florida SpaceX site, seems to be progressing at a pace much faster than what we saw at Boca Chica Starship Tower. When completed, the tower will be 400 feet tall, just a little taller than a fully stacked Starship, which is 394 feet in height. The tower is expected to be ready for stacking within months, and it has been confirmed that they are currently installing chopsticks for the Starship catch maneuver, signaling that Elon is very confident it will work. Testing of the chopsticks is expected to be sometime in 2022. However, this will rely on FAA approvals. Musk wants to revolutionize the way heavy cargo is transported across the globe. SpaceX has been chosen by the US Air Force to help them move military goods around the world, as well as humanitarian aid. They have won a contract worth $102 million, the largest contract ever from the US Air Force to transport equipment to any location across the globe. 
The aim of this mission is to be able to launch rockets from a US military location containing a payload of equipment and land it anywhere on the planet, including areas of conflict, in as short a time as an hour to four to five hours. This is unimaginable speed compared to traditional methods of transporting equipment using lorries and ships. What do you guys think of this SpaceX progress? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so that you are up to date on SpaceX and Elon Musk news.